Welcome to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Pometcher, and we are so glad that you logged on and tuned in today. We are at the third annual Book Obsessed Babes Author Signing Event, Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you so much to Tyra Wiles for having us in here. We are here hanging with Seth King, the author of Straight. Straight. That's it. Doesn't get much straighter than that. Bad pun show. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging with us, Seth. And the funny thing is that nothing about it is straight. So. Nothing about it. Nothing, Obviously. See, it's, this is a... Bit of a pun. Yeah. Bit of a... There's puns everywhere on this particular show. Couldn't be um, All right, so <laughs> let's talk straight. Uh, give us a book word, man. Um, basically, in this climate especially, I always want to, in my books, uh, you know, books about hot and heavy, sexual, everything, that's great, and I have, I, I like that, I like reading about that, but I like my books to also have a little bit of a point behind it, maybe a, a bigger picture. Um, and I always would like to help push society forward if, if I can. You know, I'm, I'm D-list, but in, if I can do any small thing to do that, that's what I do. So um, I, I knew I wanted to have a book about two guys who fall in love, and I wanted the cover to be, like, a little bit shocking. Like, I mean, because walking into a bookstore, you don't see books like that. I went the, uh, to Target the other day to the book section, and there were zero books about two men. And I, uh, I wanted to help change that. So I, I wrote a book about two guys who fall in love, one of them. I'd never really been with a guy before. He wasn't really sure. And the, the main theme of the book is how sexuality is sort of, instead of black and white, this or that, it's sort of a sliding scale. Um, you know, it's less of a black and white thing than people want to think. So, um, yeah, I, my family was a little bit shocked and everyone had some <laughs> things to say, but I wanted to do that and I did it and it, uh, it became my biggest book ever. So Awesome. Yeah, and I wasn't, especially now, I wasn't really sure how people would, take it or you know react to it but it was a good reaction i i think um art reflects where we are right now that's that's if, if it's doing yes. its job it reflects where we yes. are and the fact that you could still shock but find acceptance at the same mm -hmm. time speaks a little bit about where we are yeah in, in the, the fact that this is shocking says everything about our society where we came yes. from yes it really does if this is shocking it's because where we where we came from, mm -hmm. you were like, what? Yeah. And the fact that you find an acceptance yeah. and that the book is going well says, hey, guess what? It's And then the models contacted me from Africa. They said they'd heard about the book on social media all the way in Africa and said, hey, thanks for using our picture. We're actually married in real life. And they sent me their wedding album. So talk about a happy story. Best story yeah. ever. That's great. Yeah. That, that is awesome. And man. they're also good looking and cute to look at. So. And readers are liking it. Yeah. Readers are coming. Readers are buying it. Yeah. All right. That's Just sold in uh, Lithuania. Just sold in Lithuania. To be translated. So, yeah. Nice. Love it. Okay. Um, okay. So, you, you wanted to tell a story. You wanted mm -hmm. to, to have a message. Mm -hmm. um, what's the moment when you were writing in this particular book? when you felt like, hey, I've really got something here. From the first moment, because uh, then, sometimes books, never happens, sometimes it's sort of nebulous how they come about. This yeah. one came into my mind like lightning, fully formed in November, and I wrote it in 19 days. 19 so, days. And I, that I don't, it's not a, like it was from God or something, you know. I but, want everyone yeah. out there, who, every, all, the, all the young uh, viewers, this is YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, Look at that. 19 days. There's no... And once again, I'm not taking credit. It was from some weird thunderbolt of creativity. You know, yeah. it's not me. So, no excuses for not getting those term papers done. 19 yeah. days. Oh, it made me feel like a loser. Like, <laughs> I, I didn't take out the trash this morning and I tell myself, I wrote a book in 19 days. Yeah, yeah, there Come you on, go. stop being lazy. Um, so, okay. Um, we're going to put the links down here for straight and your social media pages so people can find Perfect. you and, and all the work that you're doing. Okay. How long have you been writing? I've been writing since I... Could talk since I was four. Yeah, I told I was riding in the car with my mom one day to kindergarten, and I told her I'm going to be an author, and she just sort of was like, whatever. But I mean, it, it sort of happened, you know. I told my folks the same thing, and then I was like five other things, and yeah. then I decided that uh, I was going to write my book about and start. Oh, trust me, there were yeah. some uh, bar loser moments. There were some. Uh, there were some uh, segues off the road, but yeah, yeah. I got here eventually. You got yeah. here. 
And welcome to welcome. We're glad that you made it here. Uh, we've come to the part of the show now. We've talked about the book. We're going to share the links down below about the book. Now we're going to talk about you. This is what I call clickbait. So what we done is I've sent the girls out to social media to find the most ridiculous questions they could possibly find. Okay. I ask you your real life answers. Tells me if I have a great headline that's going to get me a million views. Okay. Probably not. But we're going to try anyway. I didn't, she's pulling the really simple ones up. It's, it's softball. If you're on a, you're standing on a desert island, you're going to take three things with you. What are they going to be? Drugs, alcohol, strippers. I mean, if you're going to die, you have fun. You know. Yeah, but you're not going to have fun when I die. I'm not going to die like bored. You got drugs. You got alcohol. You got strippers. You're not going to be alone on that island very long. That's like the party island. Like everybody. There'll be a migration to, to the island. The yeah. migration that you know. There are no walls at the island. And that will save me because people will come to hang out. There you go. Yeah. He, that's, see, somebody will come to hang out. He'll get a ride off. But he'll be way too stoned and way too drunk. And It'll way work. too busy to It'll know work. what's going on. So, what's the last really awful song that got stuck in your head? Like all day. Like just wouldn't go away. Michael Jackson does not leave my head. And it's like a little bit problematic because which, I, which I appreciate... Jackson? I uh, want to be starting something, but I appreciate his art. Oh, but dude, se separating kidding? that from the oh my god, separating that from the person is a little bit awkward. You know I met him actually. I've met Michael Jackson. I was um, a child actor in at Universal Studios in Orlando, okay. and he happened to be there uh, on some backstage tour because he couldn't be in public. He's too famous. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I met him backstage, and his, he was with a crowd of children in, in costumes and masks, and it was extremely bizarre and sad. But I mean, how many people can you know? I'll go to my grave saying that. Yeah. That's he's gone. Yeah. It's stuck in my I shook his hand, yeah. yeah. Got stuck in my he head. looked like a suburban white woman named Nancy. Like it really he didn't look like a There's no yeah, yeah no, I uh a little older. Yeah. So I have I wanna say I have uh my memories of Michael Jackson were of medium tone. Like and I that. couldn't I couldn't reconcile that. When I met yeah. him I couldn't think that this was the same. Yeah. Yeah. Medium tone Michael yeah. Jackson was kinda of my But generation. he did seem like a very well-mannered, nice person, but I felt terrible for him. There were 20-foot uh, fences behind us, and people were climbing the fences, not cheering, but screaming at the top of their lungs trying to get to him. So yeah, yeah, that's when I realized, like, life. I wanted to be an author, but I never wanted to be that big. Yeah, yeah. Like, I won't be, obviously. But it, it was it was, it yeah, was scary. It, it was upsetting. This is the show. It's going to rock at you. You're going to need 20-foot fences. After this, uh, yeah, they'll be calling. Yeah. New York Towns will be calling. Yeah, yeah. Um... If they do, give my number away, I guess. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, I'll, I'll, what's the weirdest thing about Seth? About me, I'm one of yeah. seven, or I'm one of 18 children adopted from about eight or nine countries across the world, and I went to go get, go adopt them with my parents. My mom's right over there, actually. But, um, so my mom would go adopt these kids, and I went with her to these, I lived in a very rich part of Florida, like 1%, you know, everything, and so I'd go, to these places where these kids will be dead the next day because they didn't have any food. And it was like, get a child out or they die. So my childhood was a bit of five-star everything and a bit of, oh my God, these kids are going to die if we don't help them. Wow. So it gave me a really clear sense very early on of like what mattered and what was bullshit. And that's helped like my writing that. because I like to write about like deep, essentially human things, you know, because the, the there's so much bullshit job. in the world. Yeah. For those of you that don't know it on the web, the writer's job is to tell the truth. Get to the truth of something. Fact, yeah. Facts yeah. are facts are fun, but mm -hmm. they're for newspapers. Mm -hmm. Truth is what writers deal in. Something inside the human soul. Totally. Whether it's acceptance, whether it's love, whether it's... Yeah. And um, I, I know I sound like some douchebag to sit here and call my artiste and, you know, all that, but there really is something very holy to me about words and writing literature. Because I think... I've had so many people tell me, I read this book, and before that, I've never... I wasn't really for gay people, or, you know, but this opened my eyes, and that words, is the thing. Yeah. Words have power. They do. They have meanings. They have power. As douchey as it is to admit. It is. They, words have power. We can entertain you. Mm -hmm. We can enlighten you. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can, we can titillate you, like this. That's, that's a picture. But yeah. that's, a, that's a word. <laughs> it's a misleading word. But Very misleading. But you have a picture. But I've successfully misled One people One word, years, so. a thousand words. You do the math. There's yeah. 999... Weigh it, okay, guys. Um, what are you? What, what's coming up next in the pipeline? What are you working on? Where are you going to be? I'm uh, hopelessly ADD, so right now I'm skipping around between 20 books. But I have upcoming um, a poetry collection about, and the theme is LGBT life in the Deep South and how 
fucking shitty it is. Excuse my language. Oh, wow. But, yeah. It's YouTube. Um, I don't think they care. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that, that's the next if thing. If they care, yeah. I'm going to get a note. But also, I, I have a million other things because, I, like I said, I can't focus on one thing. I can't focus on what I'm doing right now. Like, he, right now, I'm in he, Hawaii. Yeah. He's doing an interview. He's in Hawaii. He's writing his yeah. next book. It's all happening right here as you're watching it. So... All right, we're going to put some links down below so you can find... Check it out. Seth I need the King. attention, trust me. See? Because, see? I need attention. Over here. She, he gets his own camera. I got, That's the shut up card. See, that's what I want. At least I got to sit on my good side. Trust me, if you saw me from that side, you would be looking away. So. Wait, when, this is where they make me sit, see? <laughs> see how this works? I, get I arrange it. No, this is Mariah. This is my Mariah moment. This is your Mariah <laughs> All right, I'm going to say thank you so much for sharing these videos to our friends at Something Unique Magazine, the Florida Book News, Wordfire Press, Space Coast Comics, Famous Faces and Funnies, all of our great authors, artists, and creators on the web who are sharing these videos. I'm G.W. Pomacher. We are at the third annual Book Obsessed Babes author signing event in Jacksonville, Florida. Seth? This is Seth King, the author of Straight. Which is not straight. Which is not straight at all. But we've been talking straight with Seth King. We've been talking straight, curve, bent, whatever. Just get the book, check the links. Remember, folks, subscribe, log on, tune in. See who we're hanging with next.